Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Santi Connector. So the connector is, a, is something that you have to fit to your dry suit, to the inflator valve, to be able to use an external battery to warm your internal heated undersuit. It doesn't replace your, um, your inflation valve, it more, augments it. So instead of the thermal valve, which has a built-in inflation button and nozzle, this one doesn't have that nozzle. It has a screw thread that allows you to screw your existing inflator into it and then you have this extra cable that allows you to connect it to a battery so you can get power inside of your dry suit. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so that's how it arrives uh, in a cardboard box, very environmentally friendly, uh, Santi heating system. You see this yellow band, which is Santi's uh, sort of heating system. Just information about Santi, um, the, the actual sort of thing inside of the box. Um, and then sort of more information about the heating system, the different batteries, the gloves, the thermo valve and the connector. Um, let's take a look on the inside. So we have this cardboard sleeve. Uh, and then a cardboard box, and then inside the cardboard box, we have a, a user manual, uh, read through that. Um, it's in a few different languages, but it is quite important to read through because electronics and water, you wanna make sure that you're doing it correctly. Uh, and then on the inside, we have this cardboard insert with the connector itself, a little backing plate, and, uh, and then this will be screwed on. So you have to unscrew this. This is what goes on the inside of your dry suit. And then you have your connector. So let's take a close look at the connector itself. So fitting the connector is pretty easy. Um, this one that I have in front of me, this is the Cytec version. There's a difference in size between the Cytex and the Apex. It's all in the, uh, the screw thread in the center. What you need to do is take the inflator valve off of your dry suit. That's pretty easy. I actually have one here. And they're basically a two part screw together mechanism. So this section goes on the outside. You'll recognize that it's got the push button. It's got the inflator connector connection and then that just gets pushed through a hole in the chest. You then have this little disc in the center and then this second half which screws onto that and, uh, and that sort of sandwiches either side of the dry suit and that way it's strong and secure and it keeps the water out. What you need to do is on the inside, grab hold of this section and unscrew that. There is a tool available um, to, uh, to sort of help you out with that. Once that is off, you take the little disc out and that out of the front. You then put the yellow section of the cable, because that's the internal section that goes in through that, uh, that hole in the dry suit into the inside. You have very similar screw thread. Use that same disc put that through and then use this section to seal it onto your dry suit and then screw that down. And then with this, this is just a spacer uh, and that just allows the cable to be rooted out in one of three directions. Um, you can fit it wherever you want um, and then you basically push that until it clicks into position. That allows the gas to come through. It lays the cable to it come into the, uh, the dry suit and kind of root wherever you want it to. On the outside of the suit, you still have this big hole that goes in. That's where your existing inflator goes. You screw that into position onto the connector and keep going until it's really nice and tight. You actually have these little notches um, that you can use that tool to help tighten it up. And that way you have the connector, but with your existing inflator, all you have to do is connect a battery to the EO connector on the outside and then a heated undersuit on the inside and you have that inflator with that uh, sort of electrical current is allowing to come inside of your suit. And that's the Santi connector. It's basically a thermo valve, but without that inflation nozzle, you use the existing inflator from your dry suit to screw it into it. Do make sure that you do get the right size because inflator valves come in two different sizes. They're either Cytec or Apex. So 
do make sure because the screw thread is going to be ever so slightly different. Um, but yeah, really efficient and clever way of getting an external battery power into your dry suit without risking any um, sort of complications. There'll be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. Just click on the link down in the description below so you can check it out and buy it. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. Thank you.